Consider supporting this channel for as little as $5 a month on Patreon. You can also commission future content for this game. Link is in the description. You can also send a one-time donation of any amount to this channel using PayPal. Link is in the description. In this video, we're going to fix some common errors that occur whenever you place a Thomas and Friends character on the track. I used to just ignore this glitch, but in the latest update of the game, this glitch causes it to freeze like it does in another video that I'll link in the description. So I actually have to fix it this time. There are three different versions of this glitch and this video will cover how to fix all three of them. First right click on the train, highlight open and click show an explorer. Or you can select the train and press control E which will bring up the same window. Then open the config file and over here under extensions where you see the word debug, change 1 to 0. This will stop the game from bringing up the debug window, hopefully. There are two other versions of this error that can cause it to appear even if you tell it not to debug the error. And uh, we'll cover that in the video as well. When you're finished editing, right click on the train and click submit edits or click on it and press control shift E. Sometimes it takes a while. Now we're going to preview it one more time just to make sure it works. Okay, the error message no longer appears, so that method worked for this one. Okay, this one doesn't need to be fixed because the error message does not appear on this one. Let's look for another one. By the way, Bill and Ben are the only ones that have blinking animation. Alright, let's see if Bertie needs to be fixed. Yep, a lot of error messages show up on him. Okay, so he's the next one we're going to work on. The first thing I'm going to try to do is change 1 to 0 under debug and see if that fixes it. Okay, that seems to have solved the error for him as well. The next one that needs to be fixed seems to be Billy the Bachman E2. The first thing I'm going to try to do is change 1 to 0 under debug. Okay, this time that didn't fix it. There's a little bit more that needs to be done this time. This time we're going to open it in Explorer again. I'm gonna open the config file again. Uh, accidentally clicked on the script. Okay, we're going to open the config file again, look for extensions, and look for the textures. And basically just delete everything that's triggering the error. In this case, all the textures. <laughs> so, this entire line of text needs to be deleted. Man, it's so hard to get this aligned correctly. Yeah, so just delete all that, then save it. And then submit it, and it should not be faulty anymore, hopefully. By the way, if I forgot to mention, these are the Trains 2019 versions of the characters. The earlier versions, such as the Trains 2012 and Trains 2010 versions, are obsolete at this point. 
Okay, it wasn't able to submit it because of a file access error. So as a bonus, I'm going to teach you how to fix that error as well. First, you have to go to the local folder where the trains.tz arc file was located. It's in it's in the local folder and it's in, in one of these hash folders. It'll tell you in the error message which one to look for. And then just look for the QID number. Once you find the .tz arc file, delete it. And then just exit out of that and try to submit it again. Usually it works after you've done that. Sometimes it might still fail. And that time, if that happens, just um, keep trying until it works. Usually it only takes one or two to, or th maybe even three tries at the very least. All right, that time is submitted. It took a while, but it eventually did. Now let's preview it. Okay, the error messages are gone on this one, so that fixed this problem. All right, let's see what's wrong with this one. Configuration error, texture effect. All right, well, we know how to fix this one. Now, I usually try setting debug to zero first and seeing if that will fix the problem because I don't like fixes where you have to delete something to get it to work. That's technically not a real fix, but in this case, sometimes it's the only way to get these things to work without uh, them freezing the game. All right, so that didn't work. So we are going to have to delete the entire texture section in the config file of this locomotive to get it to work. Unfortunately. All right, that worked. The error messages no longer show up. I do not recognize this character. This locomotive looks like a German locomotive. All right, so this one has a configuration error glitch. So like the other one, we're probably going to have to delete the entire texture section to get that to work. Okay, well, the method is pretty much the same for most of the rest of the characters. Okay, first try the debug option and see if that works. Okay, it looks like it didn't fix it, so we're going to have to delete the texture section just like in the last one. All right, time for another preview, and the error messages are gone. Now for the next one. All right, the next one that has this error is the city of Churo. This one has another kind of error that's also related to this debugging thing. Okay, so first I'm going to try the first method, as I usually do. Uh, set debug from 1 to 0. Let's see if that worked. Oh, it actually did. 
I was actually expecting to have to use the third method on this one. Well, let's try a different one then. City of Churros Tinder also has this error, and it's actually making the game a little bit more choppy. So, let's try the debugging option again. Oh, that's weird. I previewed it a second time, and, it, and the message didn't show up. Well, that happens sometimes too, but just to be on the safe side, I'm going to fix it anyway. Because that means it might randomly do that in-game. Okay, set debug to zero. First, we'll see if that method works. If that doesn't work, then we'll delete the parts of the script that are triggering the error. Okay, so far it's looking like the error message is gone, but as we saw earlier, it's possible for the message to go away for a while and then come back. So, we might just have to run this for a little while and see if it eventually pops back up. But for now, it's looking like it's fixed. Okay, let's see what we have next. Clarabelle. Right now, she's not triggering any errors, but she actually did in the game later on. So later on, I am going to have to fix her, but I'm probably not going to do that in this video. The class 40 has error messages related to the the couplers, the air hoses, etc. All right, let's try setting debug from one to zero. All right, let's see what it looks like. Okay, the error messages didn't show up, so for now it's looking like looking like it's fixed. Interesting fact. For some reason in preview asset, Donald and Douglas are wearing their smiling faces, but when I place them on the track in the game, they always wear their angry faces, and I'm not sure why that is. Either way, neither of them triggered the error message for now, so it's looking like I won't need to fix them. Okay, it looks like James does not have an interior. That's a bit weird. He only has an interior if you go inside the cab, apparently. But still, that's kind of weird. I've never seen a steam locomotive in this game that was like this. They at least had a fake interior inside the cab when you were outside of it. Also, it's kind of creepy being able to see inside their eyes. <laughs> and these are apparently what ladies' eyes look like from the inside. That's a bit unsettling. All right, never mind. There are only two methods to fix these. I thought there was a third one, but uh, I forgot. So basically, just set the bug to zero, and if that doesn't work, delete whatever parts of the text in the config file is triggering the error. It'll usually be written somewhere similar to how it's written in the error message. Right now, I'm testing some of them to make sure they're not going to trigger the error message in-game. So far, so good. It looks like you can change their face. It would be nice if there was a message that you could give them to change their face so that you could have them come out of the portals already wearing a specific face, but it doesn't seem to be an option for that. This guy terrified me when I first placed him on the track because I was not expecting him to blink. He and Bill are literally the only ones that blink in this game. 
And it's so weird. Man, that face must have taken a long time to animate in Blender or whatever program they used for it. Alright, so far so good. I placed three characters on the track and that horrible error message did not show up. Thank goodness, because I was getting tired of seeing that message. I've been having to deal with it since Trains 12 and I finally found a way to get rid of it. Oh my goodness, what in the world is that? <laughs> Apparently, Bertie is also drivable. Okay, there's something about an angry bus that really creeps me out for some reason. One of these is the 2012 version and the other one is the 2019 version. I think you can guess which one's which. Anyway, it looks like the glitches have finally been fixed. So, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.